Good morning, Jim Hodges here, Rosie here. Rosie is a Brittany Spaniel, came in for our residency training program. She's between seven and eight months of age. Lively girl, excited, uh, loves affection, so sweet, but gets crazy too, as a lot of hunting dogs are. Now, of course, she's not gonna be used for hunting, but that doesn't stop that hyperactivity and that craziness and excitement. So what do we do? We still make sure we provide the boundaries that we need. We try to make sure we motivate with praise and consequence. And I'll talk about that as we're moving around. For praises, words, touch, treat, toy, positive emotion. We reward calm behavior. And we do our best not to reward excited behavior unless we're playing games and, and want her to be excited when we're playing games, okay? When she does something wrong, we have to consequence. You guys know me by now, consequence involves touch. Touch is not designed to intimidate, dominate, break her spirit, hurt her, or have her fear anyone. It's just about communicating to her with words and touch. And sometimes there are other conditions, but primarily words and touch with what we're doing. Obedience is a wonderful thing to have in a family, in a pack, because you're part of the pack. But the most important thing about obedience is it helps to start to curb some of the bad behaviors we don't want. Now, she likes to bark. Uh, she likes to pull and go crazy on the leash. A lot of that has changed in the last 10 days but she has done it. The thing that we have to do is remember the consequence. Consequences touch people, it's not just the word no. Any dog hearing no enough with nothing with it, it'll go in one ear and out the other. Now again, consequence is just to the level we need. We're not gonna hurt or do anything like that. Sweetheart, you ready? Listen to my tone of voice. Praise is words, touch, treat, toy, positive emotion. I'm gonna try to encourage her. I may even let her get excited here just to see what we can do to, to square it up. If she does something wrong, I'm going to bite it. If she does it right, I'm going to praise her. Listen to what I'm doing. And you ready, sweetheart? Rosie, let's go. So let's go with my walking command. She walks with me beside me, okay? If she goes away from my side, I'm going to tap this leash right back to my side. While she's doing it, add a girl. Good girl. Yes, ma'am. Let's go. Just like that, but the tap is right back to my side. Uh, her parents want to run. Same distance, difference. All you got to do is start to run. You can run in the let's go or you can say let's run. But our goal in the beginning is to keep her here. If she starts to bound out because of excitement, we lightly tap back. And we never go on a mile uh, run when we start. We do very short distances to teach her the behavior we want. Right, sweetheart? Right. Good girl, way to go. Now, it's going to break. She wasn't actually in a command then, but when I broke her, did you see what she did? She committed to coming to me. I use that break to help teach the come command as well. When I break her, her job is to come right here in front of me. Focus on me, nothing on my sides, okay? As she gets, to, and what I'm doing is I'm teaching I'm the center of the universe, okay? And that she wants to be a part of the center of the universe, right? So uh, then we take that break and we elongate it and start to turn it into the calm command, okay? So I'm standing here. There's never ever a time that she should pull on a leash for me, okay? So although she's not in a command, if she started to pull, I would tap the leash right back to her, okay? And then praise. I didn't say that before, but when we do provide a consequence, once she's doing it right, we come back with mild praise to let her know, yes, sweetheart, that's what we want. Let's go. Sit. Add a girl. Sit means sit. Look how she's watching me. That's such a good girl. That's my praise. All right, no sit. Good girl. Uh, that's what I want her to do is hold that sit no matter what I'm doing, okay? Sit means sit. It doesn't mean sit and then get up. A lot of people have their dog sit. They give them a treat. The dog gets up and bounds around. We don't want that. The hand signal is like this. Now watch. Right. Atta girl. Good girl. Atta girl. So, I've had treats in my hand. Actually got one in my hand now, but that had nothing to do with why she came to me. But you notice the treat is wonderful. She loves treats, okay? And that's probably where she's gonna mess up the most now is because she wants a treat. So, once you've got your dog obeying, they have to obey because you ask them to, not because of treats involved. Of course, those of us who love to give treats all the time, we just make sure we reward good behavior, okay? So, where let's go. Sit. Good girl. Down. Add a girl. Down means down. I ask her to down. She lays down. She holds it. Okay. This is the down signal from the front. 
Sit. And signal for sit. Good girl, let's go. And now you can move between any of these commands as you want to, okay? Change it up. Work slow, work fast. Atta girl, I love the way you're walking. Good, so now we're gonna come back. Sit. Good girl. And signal down from there. Gosh, that, no. So, now, did you notice, I was getting ready to give her a treat, she popped up, okay? I know, I tapped towards the ground, no. Now, I'm not gonna give her a treat because she botched it, okay? So she doesn't get it, she still gets to pray. Good girl, sit, let's go. And now I'm one of those terrible people, down. And now, watch what I'm gonna do. Good, I'm gonna go right back to the same motion so if she started to get up, I could bite her. Good girl. I could also say, stay. When I tell a dog to stay, that means they can get comfortable. Down means they're down till I tell them to go. Down stay means you can roll on your side, you can chew a bone, you can go to sleep, but you're gonna be there for a while. I typically use stay uh, for at least a couple of minutes, if not longer. She'll do 15, 20, 30 minutes at a time. Let's go. Good girl. I'll stop the girl. Yes, ma'am. So I hope you got what I was talking about about the tree. You saw, and I had just actually had uh, given a little bit of forewarning there, and I didn't know it was going to happen, but she's really driven for treats, which is a great thing to help teach a dog. But they have to realize it goes much more than the treat. So she broke the treat, she broke the command to get the treat, no treat. And we come back and do it again. Down. Good girl. Let's go. Sit. All right, now we were talking about the B-R-E-A-K command a while ago. Now I'm gonna turn it into the C-O-M-E. And I'm gonna make sure that I give her a treat if she does it the way I want. Hand signal. Good girl. Good girl. Atta girl, right. So the come command is she comes to me and sits in front of me. I don't care if she sits in front of you or not. You get what you want out of it. What I want her to do is to come and sit. Now, she was off leash, and we've actually practiced this with a long line and no line indoors, but if she's off leash and not paying attention, I would go, Rosie, hey, come. Notice, good girl, Notice I told her to come what? When she committed to coming to me, okay? Uh, I did not tell her to come while she's out running, because if she sees a uh, squirrel or a butterfly or something, and I tell her to come, she doesn't come, what has happened? She learns that she doesn't have to listen. So the first few hundred times, I'm gonna get her attention. If she commits to coming to me, that's when I'm gonna tell her to come. If she was in a command then, I would have bitten it, quite honestly. I would have told her no sit, no down, there's no scratching on my time when she's working. Let's go. So the next command, let's go. Atta girl. Places, get on your bed, lay down, sit down, stand up, read a book. I don't care what she does as long as she holds that command, okay? If she started to get off or missed it, I would take the leash and tap back towards the center of the bed and go, no, 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 play. To back up a second on the down, I demonstrated it, but if we have to bite on down, it's no, down. Great, good girl, got a girl, good girl. One of the things that we have to realize is when we praise her, of course, we praise in that moment of time. But when she does something wrong, we have to tell her no in that moment of time and we bite in that moment of time. So here comes one of the most important things that I could tell you. If she does it once, she's gonna do it over and over again. If you like it, put a word to it, you got a new command. If you don't like it, you gotta be ready to bite or provide that consequence. Let's go. And she just sees the butterfly uh, flying overhead. That's one of the hazards of having butterfly bushes and hydrangeas all the way around. They keep flying, which is a wonderful way for them to have to understand they have to work no matter what they see. But guess what? It's nice to be able to see the birds and the butterflies. You just listen to your leader, okay? Let's go. So the next thing is to load up in the vehicle. Load up. Ah, girl. Good girl. Break. One of the reasons I use praise, words, touch, treat, toy, positive emotion, all at the same time, is because hopefully over a period of time, uh, I don't have a treat, but I'm giving her that love and positive attention, good girl. And it's almost like having the treat. 
because all of those things make for a very positive moment in her brain, okay? Good girl. Good. Yes, sweetheart. I love that. That is a, anytime your dog is looking at you, especially in the beginning, she's looking at a girl. I'm going to give her a little treat and tell her how proud I am of her, pet her, love her, and say, good girl. Last thing on the agenda is the heel command. At least I think it's the last thing, yes. Uh, heel is nothing more than a much tighter let's go. Remember, let's go, I said, especially in the beginning, our dog is right here. The reason they're right here and let's go is because if they're out in front of us, two things are happening. They're leading the walk, which is they're the leader. And number two, when they're out in front of us, they don't have us as a checks and balance. They are susceptible to what's going on in the world without our guidance. Heel command, she's always right here, okay? And when I stop, she should sit automatically. We want her here to here. I don't mind just a little bit behind. I don't want her way behind, but I want her right here. So when I stop, she sits. The thing about the heel command is she has to pay even more attention to us for when we stop, okay? Because it's not something normal that, oh, they stop. She's got to focus to sit on it, okay? So here's the hand signal. Oh, and places like that, load up is like that. Load up to get in the car, load up to get on the bed. All right, you ready, sweetheart? Hey, heel. So we heel. Oh, that was easy. Good girl. Good girl. Heel. Now we're going to turn. See, she has to understand how to... Good girl. And a girl, good girl. Heel. Now watch, as I turn this way, she's got to speed up. But she comes right back beside me. Atta girl, great. That's such a good girl. Now, when you break your dog, especially someone that gets excited and having fun doing these kind of things, when you break her, she's going to be a jumper. If she goes to jump on you or do something you don't like when you release her, you still have to bite that. You still have to provide that consequence. Behaviors, behaviors you don't like, you have to anticipate. That's when you can bite and say no in that moment of time. Use your brains, people. That's what God gave them to us for. Figure out what she's doing and how to interrupt it or catch it in that cycle. Same praise. You want to make sure if she's laying there by your side being a good girl, that you praise her for that. She says, what? You're praising me for laying here? Yes. And she says, well, I can do this all day long. We teach calm when we can. Uh, when she is around people and not excited, praise. One of the big things she has was she was a barker, okay? You have to interrupt the barking. If it's happening in the house, you've got to be able to set it up and bite. Yes, that may mean you need to have a leash on her to begin with. Uh, the obedience is going to help get you there as long as when you tap the leash, you tell her no and you praise the proper action. Uh, anticipate, be ready. If she's in a crate and she's barking or something like that, or you're outside and she's barking, you really just need to ignore it and never give in to the bark. Don't talk to her unless it's going to be a no and some sort of touch. Uh, don't encourage her. Don't do anything that would look like encouragement because all that does is reward her. Last thing is dogs learn an environment scenario. She's working here. She's learned how to work. Add a person to this, she's going to probably mess up. Why? Because the last time she was with two people, she did such and such a thing. That's the way dogs learn and understand life, okay? You know, if you ever need me, you pick up the phone and call me, 336-945-3232. Jim Hodges, Jim Hodges Dog Training. She has been a good girl. I think she'll be a great girl for you. Be consistent. Put in the time in the beginning. All obedience, all behaviors are in a black and white, in that moment of time, nature. As she gets good, you can relax, she can relax, and you can move to shades of gray. You can even allow her to walk out in front of you if you want. Thank you so much, and God bless. Good girl.